Hey gang, so uh, recently I've been having a lot of luck posting some of my tricks to Instagram, and there are two in particular, one right before Burning Man and one right after Burning Man that got a hell of a reaction. The funny thing about it is that they're both related to a trick that I showed off in a TechPoi video last spring, and uh, I thought it might be useful actually to go through all three of them, being as how they're so closely related. Um, and all of them are really based upon two moves, specifically Pendulum versus Cap, and uh, pendulum versus cat eye, these two, right? Um, originally, like, I started playing around with this because Ronin would do these really nifty transition tricks between neighboring pendulum versus cat patterns, right? Um, but I started to realize, too, that the way he was getting there was that at that bottom pedal of that cap, rather than treating it as like the bottom of a four-pedal anti-spin, he was instead treating it like it was the bottom of a three-pedal anti-spin, that is a triquetra. So what happens there is it shifts the lineup so that rather than having the poi pointing both in the same direction on either side of your body, when you hit that down pedal, it instead brings them up into a lineup where uh, each of the poi heads is pointing at the opposite hand, right? And of course, you can use that as a line to get into cat eye versus pendulum, like so. Or, as I discovered, you can also use it as a lineup to start getting into a bunch of point isolation tricks. So, for example, if I take that moment where I have the poi coming up as though it's, uh, when I say triquetra, by the way, I mean that the uh, outlying pedal for the triquetra is pointing off in that direction, right? So um, think of it as being that the gap between the two other pedals is about right here, that I've got one pedal here and one pedal here, and that the point I'm trying to reach is such that the poi is pointed towards my body center in the center of that, right? So I'm switching from this coordinate orientation with a four-pedal anti-spin to this kind of three-pedal orientation. But it happens on the bottom side of that cap, right? As it comes up, I can use that moment to turn it into a point isolation instead, right? And dropping out of the point isolation, I can just treat the bottom of it like it's the bottom of that cap once again. So I come up, point isolation, drop it straight down into the cap again. Yeah, and the it, it's essentially like a linear isolation that I immediately exit into a the bottom of that four pedal again for the cap, right? Okay, so we've got that. Now it's the behavior of the other hand that changes depending upon what we want to do. Uh, the first one of these patterns that I played with involved just using a static spin for that left hand. That is, it literally just goes back and forth as a pendulum, and then when I'm bringing my right hand, that is the orange poi, over as a point isolation, I just hop it over like a static spin, right? And what that leads to is this moment where we have the point of contact between the poi heads and the hands as they're going around, which, as most people who know my style know, this is one of those things that I really try to aim for in all the tricks that I put together is maintaining these kind of relationships, yeah? Um, so then we get to the other two, and the other two are actually not a far leap if you can get that first one down. Um, the first one is this, which I came up with in the Reno airport as I was waiting for my bags to come off of the bag drop going to Burning Man. Um, surprisingly enough, this is actually almost the exact same trick. The one and only difference is that instead of having my pendulum hand go over as a static spin, it remains a pendulum. So I do a um, point isolation versus pendulum, and I have this nice little folding effect going on, right? Truth be told, it's actually a little bit easier than the first trick. It's just a matter of getting the lineup happening on either side. And the final one, which is the one that uh, I take a great deal of pride in because uh, Keith Marshall, who never likes poi tricks, likes this one, uh, is this trick right here. Which, um, if, if you're looking closely, this is another variation on the static versus point iso with one crucial difference, namely that I'm not actually pursuing the point ISO all the way over, as I was before. Instead, I'm exiting from it when the, the tether in my hand are pointing straight up. I basically get halfway through the point ISO, and then I abort going back the other way. The really cool thing about this, then, is that it switches the lineup of the hand so I can do pendulum versus uh, cap going the other direction. And I can turn it into a repeating pattern, going back and forth between setting up cap versus pendulum, 
going in either which direction. And it's just got a nice kind of like pushing and unfolding effect that happens on either side of my body, right? Cool, so there you go. Three nifty point isolation tricks based upon cat versus uh, pendulum for the price of one. And you know, really all of these are kind of in the same family. They all are based upon the same idea. So yeah, I'm a fan of it. Thank you guys for watching and uh, have yourselves a great week. I'll be back again with more tech for you next week. Peace.